Hello developers and welcome to the complete Android developer course. In this video, we will continue discovering the folders of Android app and dive into resources folder. So before we start, please let us know how you think about our course and how you rate our performance in these videos in order to produce more professional tutorials. So if you are new to our channel, hit subscribe to join our family and get daily coding tutorials. So let's begin. App resources such as bitmaps and layouts are organized into type specific directories inside each module's res directory. So this is the res folder, the res directory containing the drawable layout, mip map, and mip map and values so as we see in the json pictures that we have four folders inside res folder or directory drawable layout mip map and values next lessons we will go through every folder in details so don't don't miss to subscribe and like to get these uh, lessons these folders are very important to understand well because in every app we will make we are going to make we are going to use these folders and create files inside them till now you are doing great and on the right track don't worry if you misunderstand any of the previous ideas because we will clarify everything in the next videos and lessons don't miss never give up especially in coding let's go to a dive into a drawable folder the name gives things away a little bit so but the, the the drawable folder holds much more than just graphics when you develop android application you always need to add an image inside it this article will show you how to add image in your app android application there is also an example which will show you how to load and use the added images Images in Android application are commonly saved in the Android project drawable folder. After that, Android Studio will generate a drawable ID for each added image in R class. Then you can use r.drawable.imageID to refer that image in your Java code. To add images to your app, to your app, copy images from your computer and paste them in the drawable folder as shown in the figure below. Later on, we will see how to display image into images view. This are uh, this lesson. We will continue them in uh, in uh, uh, widgets uh, lessons or widgets sections. Now, if we copy copy the drawables, copy the images and we click and right click on the drawable folder and we paste them these are the images so the drawable folder contains graphics such as uh, th or that can be drawn uh, to the screen example png gpag and gif various xml clip drawable insert drawable layout layer list level list uh, scale drawable, shape draggable, and state list, transition drawable, and many, many shapes and many frames. So, bitmap file Android supports bitmap files in three formats PNG preferred, GPG acceptable, and GIF discouraged. I uh, personally I prefer using the .png files. 9 patch file a png 9 patch file was uh, stretchable uh, regions to allow image resizing based on content uh, the, we will uh, see them in next uh, in uh, in future lessons so uh, don't miss to subscribe to our channel master android channel to get uh, most of these uh, youtube or uh, air coding tutorials layer list an XML file that contains an array made up of other drawables. 
state list and XML file that is used for images that have multiple or different state of appearance, level list and XML file that is used to display other drawables that can be accessed, accessed based on the level requested through the set image level transition uh, drawables, an XML file that contains a drawable that can be transitioned between two items. Till now, if you are not understanding, never miss or don't, don't, uh, don't uh, be frustrated. We will clarify them in all sections. The, also, we have inset drawables, clip drawable, and scale drawable. Inset drawable and XML file that is used to place one drawable inside the bounds of other drawables. Clip drawable and XML file consisting of uh, points that is used in conjunction with other drawables to create a clipped object. And scale drawable and XML file that contains a drawable that changes the dimension value of another drawable based on its current value. Shape, draw, shape drawable and XML file that contains the values of geometric shape, color, size, and similar attributes. This is the, we have configured the assets folder or uh, the vectors, uh, vector asset. This is the asset. This is the icon. And we can make it and these uh, uh, sizes. Okay, so we, we will go, before diving into a layout folder, let's jump to Android Studio and see the drawable folder. This is the drawable folder. This is the rest. So again, if, uh, if we, have, we want to close, this is the project, project panel, number one. We go to resource app. When I first select the Android, we select app, we select drawable, and here we go. We have these icons, and we, this is the drawable fold. We can put here all shapes and or all the images and all XML uh, shapes in the drawable folder. This drawable folder, this is an example for an Android drawable folder. Okay, and this is a vector. So we can copy and paste here whatever we want at, uh, of images. We can click on new, we can draw a resource uh, file, we can create all files or shapes or another, uh, whatever you want of uh, XML and uh, it lists we've seen in the previous lessons. So let's dive into the layout folder. So as a recap or summary, a resource folder have drawable, layout, mipmap, and values. Till now we've learned about drawable, let's go to layout folder. So layout folder, the layout folder contains XML file that used for your layouts. These files are used to set up the layout for your activity and is used for basic align alignment of your layouts, components, widgets, and similar resources that are used for the UI of your application. We've seen before Activity underscore main dot XML is automatically created in the folder by Android Studio. So the layout folder may have multiple layout folders to handle different devices. This can be helpful when working with layouts that need to be adjusted for devices with more or less screen spaces available. If we go back to main activity file, uh, main activity Java file, we see this code below. Set content view r.layout.activity underscore main. The code is calling the method name set content view and it is passing some data into set content view for the code and the set content view method to make use of it. So the data being passed to set content view is r.layout.activity underscore main. For now, 
I just mentioned, mentioned the set content view method is provided by Android API and it's method that prepares and displays the UI to the user. So what exactly is r.layout.main activity underscore main? Don't miss to subscribe, write a like, and rate our app five stars on Play Store. Uh, just to, to um, as um, um, for mentioning that these lessons are available to download uh, in the in the uh, uh, on Play Store. All lessons, all of these lessons, are available to download on Play Store and in app on our professional or uh, our official app called Master Android. This is the Master Android app. This is our application. You can go to learn Android course, Flutter course, Kotlin, Java, all totally free and offline. You can take a quiz to see your coding uh, skills and video tutorials linked to our uh, YouTube channel. So we are, I am, uh, till now, we are going uh, inside the Android course and the section number two called components. And these other, the other components or other uh, sections will go into components and I am on the page number 10 and now going to uh, 11 and these are the lessons okay let's go to see the mip map folder the mip map folder the mip map folder contains the launcher icon files of the app the uh, the launcher icon is a graphics the graphic that represents your app to your user so the mip map folder was introduced in the android 4.3 here we can you we can see two subfolders the ic underscore launcher and ic underscore launcher underscore round or background this is a two files the contents of IC underscore launcher are graphics for the regular uh, launcher icon we see in the app. Drawable drawer underscore home screen of the device and IC launcher holds the graphics of their device that use round icons. What I'm saying, this go back to Android Studio. This is the map folder, number three in the rest folders. If we click IC launcher, we get this coding so what is this uh, mess don't don't uh, be frustrated these are or a shape for our icon so if we click here on the preview we will get this so if we if we run our app on the emulator we will see the app icon like this don't miss to uh, to go uh, to back to emulator uh, and other uh, b previous uh, sections uh, to learn more about emulators and uh, other um, coding skills that Android uh, that we have demonstrated before. So this is application. This is our hello world, and uh, it is empty. If we click back, if we click back, we will see that. This is app icon for our application. This is our app folder or uh, icon folder of our application. So we can edit here. We can edit whatever you want of the, the shape below. So we learned, we have learned that mip map folder contains the Le the icons or I see la underscore launcher icons or the app icon used as a vector assets uh, and adaptive adaptive icon inside our Android application. So let's close them and back to our lesson. You are probably uh, probably. Also wondering why there are five IC underscore launcher. So number six, we see that we have six and six other uh, round uh, files. The reason for that 
is uh, the, it, it is a good practice to provide icons that are suitably scaled for different sizes and resolutions for screen of screen. Providing an image with with the qualifications HDPI, MDPI, and XHDPI. This is uh, this is our for density pixels, the density. Uh, or screen resolutions xx hdpi and triple x hdpi allows different android devices to choose the icon that will look best for the user so imagine if you are uh, if you have an application that is worldwide and you need to put your icon uh, and or displayed in uh, a tablet or or small telephones or uh, small mobiles different uh, sizes you need to make a different types or different icons that fit to uh, the scale of the resolution of the screen